Uh, my name is Nick Kerrigan. I'm from Prince George, British Columbia, and I'm a chef at Cactus Club. I decided to become a chef because uh, food's always been accessible in my life. My dad's always been teaching me about food. His mother was always cooking when he was younger, so food was always in his life and he just wanted to bring it into my life. I started cooking at Earl's when I was 17 and worked for, worked for them for about three years, then decided to go to culinary school. And after culinary school, I went to, I went and worked at the Shangri-La Hotel, worked for the company for three years, and then worked for Fable Restaurant in Kitsilano for two more years, became a sous chef there. And now I'm at Cactus Club Cafe, uh, currently a junior sous chef, and yeah. The most important thing a leader in the kitchen must have is have a clear voice, be heard, and have a presence. Uh, mentors or chefs that I admire is uh, Chef Wayne. He brought me on board after culinary school, working at a hotel, and he brought me under his wing and taught me a lot, and brought me to where I am right now. Some famous chefs that I, like, I looked to when I was a young cook was uh, Michael Smith. He taught me a lot about cooking, basic cooking, but good fundamentals. Some aspirations for my career, from my career, is to uh, maybe become a culinary instructor, or eventually open up my own restaurant, or be, just become a, a chef within the Cactus Restaurant Group. My best skills as a chef is mentoring people, uh, guiding them, showing them how to do things properly, like showing them a few times, but yeah, eventually just showing them, teaching them. My style, I like to mix it up. Sometimes I'm, I like to be really firm, really tough with the, with the cooks in the kitchen, but at times I understand, like, so I make things nice and easy with them joke around with them, become their friends, but then sometimes I just bring it down. The thing I most enjoy about cooking is the fact that I can have the creative ability to make a steak into like a piece of meat into like a lovely dinner for two or four. The toughest challenge in this industry are the long hours that you do and having a work-life balance. Some recommendations that I have for the young aspiring chefs or cooks coming into the industry is buckle down, get used to the long hours, it's gonna happen.